fell in love, and I love this style of animation. So, I am popping for my fish. For the first half hour of the movie, I'm like, oh, this is sweet. I need to go see a gypsy immediately after this. You don't need to join a gym. I, uh... I'm on, I'm on my way to class, just stopped by to see Ashley. They, I don't know if I told you guys, they have to move. So do you know how we did that whole move last year? If you haven't been around for long, Ashley and Melissa lived in an apartment together last year. Then they moved and Natalie moved in with them. So they moved to a townhouse. And then now, one year later, exactly one year later, they're moving again. So it's weird to see like a house with stuff getting taken down, nothing on the walls, no pillows on the couches. Um, I have, I have a few issues with crosswalks in a city. You see, I almost just hit someone because I had the green light. I was turning left. The person had a do not cross sign. They never even looked up. They didn't even look. They just crossed the road right in front of me where I'm going 25 miles an hour around a turn. And then they look up because I almost hit them and they and they gave me an evil glare you give me an evil glare after you're crossing the road with not looking at the red the big red hand in your face saying don't cross you see I have no issue with crossing the road with a big red hand saying don't cross if you look up you see no traffic you see nothing in the area and you cross the road. See, jaywalking is when you cross the road and you impede traffic. You cross the road and you stop traffic from being able to move. If you cross the road when no traffic is coming, who's calling me? If you cross the road when no traffic is coming across the road, I have no issue with that. You're not disrupting traffic. You see, as the person driving who almost hit this lady, I'm a little angry that I almost hit her, and if I would have hit her, it would have been blamed on me, the person in the car, when it really should have been blamed on her, the person looking at her cell phone trying to cross a road. <sighs> you see, because I cross the road when I see that big red hand, but I see no cars. When I know I'm not gonna hit, get hit by a car or block traffic from moving, I cross the road because there's no issue with it. I can get across the road in five seconds and no cars were stopped. But when you do it and you stop me from being able to drive, that's when I, that's when there's an issue. People don't, ah, I almost hit someone. And that's, and it wasn't, it would have been blamed on me, but it wasn't my fault. This lack of stuff on walls and couches really sad <laughs> it's really really sad got packing beginning we have walls empty but the gist of it the packing and moving process has begun it officially like stuff gets moved tomorrow right um oh you know what i could take a load tomorrow night stuff gets moved tomorrow i think i told you i'm pretty positive i told the vlog that you're moving Hmm. If not, no, I did. Surprise! <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I told you guys, they have to move. I failed to let you guys know that we had fall retreat planning this evening. Fall retreat is in two weeks. The first.
planning meeting was tonight. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna come together. I swear. It's we usually don't wait this long, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be it's picture perfect. It's been crazy. What? It's been crazy. It has been crazy. She was like secretly listening. She was in that conversation, but she was like, "What's he saying about me?" What do you? I could easily test this, but I'd probably get in trouble. It's better not. Uh, dating advice. Uh, if you have two options, causing trouble for a laugh or not causing trouble for uh, the betterment of your relationship, go with not causing trouble. Like the laugh might be extremely funny and totally, totally worth it, but in the end, not worth it at all. Um, and Exciting, exciting stuff coming down the pipeline, everybody. Something like moving is such like a stress in your life. And I'm not I'm not the one moving. Ashley and Melissa and Natalie are the ones moving. But since I'm dating Ashley, I also feel the stress. So I'm like, we gotta move what? When? I've gotta figure out how to get a box spring down the stairs when? I gotta figure out how to get this china cabinet into my truck when? And it's all just like it happens so quick. Their landlord's daughter got married, and now he wants to give the townhouse that they're in to his daughter, understandably. So they were forced to move. So they found a new place. It was quite the fiasco trying to find a new place. They found it. We can now move stuff because they now officially have, like, it's, it's their place now, which is exciting but challenging because now it's like, all right, how do we get all this stuff? stuff into your new house. So tomorrow, a U-Haul's being rented, the truck is gonna be used, move stuff back and forth, back and forth, moving stuff once again. This weekend is all the move, and it's one of those things that like, I remember just a year ago doing it, and I'm sort of like, wow, we're already moving again? But at the same time, it's like a new start, a fresh, house a fresh it's closer to my house which is nice because i don't have to drive as far to get there so there are pluses there are minuses just like everything everything in life has a plus and a minus there's a pro and a con you gotta weigh out the pros and the cons when the pros outweigh the cons it's great sometimes the cons outweigh the pros sometimes that can be good as well it can either challenge us to grow and challenge us to fight out those cons and make them into pros it can it can do whatever it needs to but sometimes they're about even there's pros and cons that it's just about the same and you gotta you gotta lean on the optimistic side you've got the pessimists who see things how they really are typically and then the optimist who can change how things are. I tend to lean on the optimism side. So when things are like equal, like it's equal pros and cons, there are good and bad things about something. I tend to focus on the good things. I don't know why I just got into like a philosophy rant there, but philosophy rant is gonna finish the vlog out for the evening. Um, I wanna finish the vlog in the highest of fashion statements possible. You know, I'm a strong, strong supporter of being fashionably late. I'm not late in this instance, but I'm fashionable for sure. So stay fashionable, the rule of life. Choose virtue, choose life, so long for now, and stay fashionable. All right, he's back. He's back, everybody. He's thing is a pain in the butt. Uh, flashback to two seconds ago putting this on. Uh -huh.